Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ebony and I am whoop, welcoming you guys to my channel. So on this channel, we like to give you all things champagne on a water budget. Hey. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> okay. So I had a girl inbox me about a dress that she seen and she really wanted this dress for her birthday, but it was just out of her budget. I am actually going to list that designer in these videos somewhere. I don't know, <laughs> but it's, I'm gonna list her name so that you guys can follow her Instagram because guys, when you own a business, you should charge what you know you are worth. And I feel like she knows that she's worth $200. So girl, ain't nothing wrong for charging $200. But I personally would not pay that because I'm I'm just cheap, okay? So I know how to make it cheaper. So I asked this person how much she wanted to spend and I made it happen. If you guys are interested in how you can make this $200 dress for 20, Stick around and keep watching. So this is a little bit of a disclaimer. I am making this video at like 11 o'clock at night and let's just be real, it ain't gonna be done, okay? But <laughs> if you guys notice that the lighting is changing, that is why. Uh, I'm probably gonna make this and I'm, uh, you know, it's gonna be like a minute. It's gonna be like a minute for it to get bad. But <laughs> stick around. So if you see, if you notice a little bit of lighting changes, that's why. Anyways. Okay, so let's talk about everything I got and how much I paid for everything. So I got two pair of pants. I wanted to get pants that were similar in like the same color. So I got these two pair of pants. As you can see, they're kind of close, right? These were $4.50. This is $4.50. So guys, if you're making something, like especially with some jeans, I would highly recommend going to like a thrift store. I went to Goodwill. I'm going to be honest. Um, I went to a different Goodwill that I normally go to. This one stunk. Okay? It smelled like cigarettes. <coughs> Anyways, besides the smell, I would highly recommend going to a Goodwill, maybe a different one than the one I went to. Hmm, one that has airbrush and our but yeah, jeans were four fifty. I got two pair, so you do the math. Cause, I, cause I, it's late and I can't do it. Okay, <laughs> next thing I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I actually have a Cricut, and if you don't have a Cricut, then you can buy patterns. Uh, only thing about patterns, if you go to the store, they're like four dollars, five dollars. They they're kind of pricey, but if you're in a budget and you have a Cricut. I would just get these because you can make your own pattern and just, just sew these on. I'm saying patterns. I mean, I'm saying iron on. Iron on patterns. Guys, this is why you don't make a YouTube video at 11 o'clock at night. So, this was like $1.99. I went to Joann's, by the way. Um, this one was like 75 cents. Um, this one's like, I think $2. But anyway, I can't wait to show you guys what I do with my Cricut with these. Next, so I got a zipper. This one is uh, 71 centimeters, 28 inches. And I kind of, she's the same size, she's the same height as me. So I was like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna use this for the front zipper. And next, I have some paint. This, uh, this was a dollar. Um, this is acrylic paint. I hope it works because, you know, I would have got fabric paint, but keep in mind, we're on a budget. So, this is what I got. But, anyways, let's go ahead and stop all the chitter chatter and let's just get in and show you guys how I make the dress. Hey guys, so I should have mentioned this earlier, but the pants that I purchased were actually four sizes bigger than the size that I needed. And the reason why I purchased the pants so big is because I wanted to make sure I had enough fabric. Because you don't, if you're on a budget, you don't want to run out of fabric. 
So what you see me doing right now is just taking the pans and cutting it directly in the middle. And after you complete that, that'll leave you with two pairs of pants legs. You wanna take both of those pants legs and cut them directly through the middle. And when you open it up, it'll give you the fabric for the body of your dress. Okay, so can you guys see why I bought the jeans larger? Because as you look at my pattern, yes i have enough enough fabric for my dress so if you don't have a pattern like mine that's perfectly fine you can just use any dress that you have in your closet just make sure you cut out a, a little bit extra because you're gonna have to sew this and you don't want it to be too small i normally add two extra inches but all bodies are different so go based off of your body and decide what measurements are more suitable for you so right now I'm just lining my dress up with the zipper. As you can see my zipper is shorter than the dress but that is perfectly fine. I'm just going to cut that off and I actually am going to sew that zipper on off camera but don't worry I will have a link in the description box below for a video you can watch to show you how to sew on that zipper. So I have pins to hold my pattern in place. If you don't have a pattern, you're probably using a dress. So you just wanna make sure that that dress does not move. So make sure you pin that down so that you can shape your dress correctly. And a fun reminder, make sure you cut a little bit extra because you do have to sew. And this is jeans, it does not stretch, baby. So you do not want it to be too snug. Hey guys, so it is officially day two and off camera I did sew on that zipper, but be sure to check out the description box for a link on how I did it. So right now I'm just showing you guys some leftover fabric I had. I'm going to sew these on the side to give the jeans a little bit more of a stretch. So off camera I did use my Cricut. That's a vinyl that I'm going to iron on and then uh, I'm going to show you guys the other things that I cut out. These are not iron on so I am going to have to use my sewing machine to sew them on but yeah if you guys want to save a little bit of money and you have a Cricut I would definitely recommend using that. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to make these sleeves. What you see me doing right now is putting my arm through the bottom of the jean and look, girl, it fits perfectly. So I would recommend buying jeans that are like that so it'll save you so, so much time with the sewing. This step is like super simple. All you're doing is cutting the jeans right through the middle and that's it, girl. Just cut it through the middle. I am not cutting the top where the elastic is because I don't need that. I just really need the pants leg. But just cut it up and then cut it across. Boom, bam, just like that. And then you do the same thing to the other side. So after you have your sleeves cut, you do want to clean it up a little bit so it doesn't look so funky. So what you see me doing now is just trying it on to see where I need to put the pins in to sew. I'm just trying to give it more of a defined arm shape. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But yeah, girl, we're not trying to have it looking like pants legs. We need to look like arm sleeves. So that's why I'm placing the pins in. When you sew it, you do want to sew it inside out. Do not cut any fabric off until you tried it on after sewing it and it's, it's exactly the way you want it to fit. So right now it's looking a little bit bulky because I do have extra fabric still attached. But it's fitting perfectly and I'm just going to cut that additional fabric off later. 
so I put it in the washing machine and when it comes out it should look like this I also distress the dress off camera because you can just google a video if you don't know how to do it um, I didn't show you guys my paint in the beginning this is the brand that I used and before we put it on the dress you want to test it out first so I use a scrap because after all that hard work you don't want to mess it up so make sure you use a scrap before you put it on the dress so as you can see mine came out pretty good so what you're gonna see me doing now is just applying the paint to the top half of the sleeves and the top half of the dress 